to the Yvonne Candy Show. Motivational, inspirational, and just plain fun, where celebrities check in and you can check out what's fresh in entertainment, business, health, finance, and more. It's all about your lifestyle. Here's your host, Yvonne Candy. Hello, everybody, and happy Yvonne Candy Show Tuesday. You know how we do it. It is a wonderful day today, and I have my beautiful guest, Michelle Leonard, here. You know who I'm talking about. You might have seen her all over the social media. She's known as the Hat Lady and Realtor Extraordinaire. And she's also a quite quite a socialite, I would say. Michelle is known for her gorgeous hats and her wonderful networking events. And she's right here in our studio to tell us all about it. Welcome, Michelle. And thank you for having me today. You know, I was at your event, I'm quite sure you know that, yet last night, and I had a wonderful time. I don't know how you do it. I don't know where you get the energy from. I, you know, I'm going to be just like you when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. Uh, so at, at any rate, you are just as famous as a socialite as you are a realtor. I want to talk a little bit about real estate because I have an audience out there that have all of these questions about real estate because, you know, back in 2008, everybody went crazy, uh, you know, over the crash and they were, you know, they're scared now. They don't know whether to invest. They don't know whether to buy. They don't know whether their home prices are even going up. Tell us what's happening today in real estate. So I think the short answer is we're in a stable market. So right now, you and I are here sitting in Lower Marion Township, Mm -hmm. and it is a buyer's market because the market absorption rate is 9.17, which means that there are currently 82 homes that have been listed since the beginning of the year in the price range of 500,000 to 750 and there is a current inventory of 110 homes whereas last year there were 123 homes and this current month we had five properties go under contract whereas last month there were 12 mm. and for the whole year there have been uh, 25 gone under contract and 23 settled. So it is definitely a buyer's market. So if you're thinking about buying, call Yvonne or me, okay? Because it's a good time to buy. Fantastic. Now, what about the values? They're staying steady, but are they rising yearly? So no one has a crystal ball, but right now the average sales price was um Last year, $644,000 in Lower Marion Township. And this year, it is 652300 which is a negligible 1.2% increase. So not really doing much. That, that's not very much. Not at all. Yeah, I mm-hmm. remember a time it was like maybe 5 or 6% in, increase. A- and more even. Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, that's not good. Like right before the crash. <laughs> oh, yeah, right yeah. before the crash. Mm-hmm. Well, at least, you know, if it's a buyer's market, that means that sellers are going to sell their property. Exactly. So that's great. You've been in a business since 1987. Wow. You must have seen it all. Well, it definitely has changed, Yvonne. I remember when I started out, it was a one-page agreement of sale. And now, as you know, it's 13 pages. Wow. Not to mention all those extra addendums. When I hand files in sometimes, it's over 100 pages. It's Mm. ludicrous. Wow. And that just makes things more complicated. I I think, you know, if you learn the contract and explain the contract, you know, uh, as you know, I still hold my license. And once in a while, I may sell a property. But I actually like to know the contract so I can explain it and get it over with quickly to the client. Okay, this page is for this, this page is for that. Do you do that? Yeah, but it's continually changing. I mean... Everything's changing. The coolest thing, though, now is that my clients can sign their contracts on their cell phone through DocuSign. Yeah, and I wonderful. love that. They can be driving somewhere and I need a change or an initial or a signature and boom, right. they have it to me within not even a minute. It's awesome. Yeah, I like that, too. Now, 
in your field, do you specialize in, um, let's say, commercial properties or because I'm a real estate investor myself. And you can say that I sort of specialize in that because I speak the language I know uh, about investing. So you can say that's sort of on the commercial side, whether you're buying residential or, or whether you're buying an office building or what have you. Uh, I always say it's still commercial when you're not going to live in it. You know? C- correct. So at any rate, what do you specialize in? Luxury homes? What? So I primarily sell residential homes starting at 300000 and going into the millions. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not to say that I've never sold investment properties. We could talk about, you know, after repair value and formulas, mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. making it all work. But my true love is helping people find a home that they love. And so I also am blessed because I am on Century 21 Advantage Gold's relocation Mm A-team. And what that means is I'm always helping people who are moving here from across the country or world. And they'll say to me, oh, I want to live in Philly. I want to, you know. And then we start and then I sell them a house in Chad's Ford or Limerick. Like, Mm -hmm. because they just don't know the language. And so it's kind of like a treasure hunt trying to find what's best for them. And, you know, I love when they're so happy at the end. (laughs) My goal is that they're all outrageously happy. So You know what I find is funny is that a lot of people really don't know what they want. They give you this list. Okay, I want this. I want that. And at some point, especially when you show them about 20 properties, you're saying like, wait a minute. I don't think they really know what they want. Let me try something else, you know, and and that works. (laughs) Exactly. And, you know, part of it is just educating people so that they make smart decisions for themselves. That's right. That's right. Do you um, also specialize in a certain area of the city? So because I'm on this relocation team, Mm -hmm. I'm a little unique. So Mm -hmm. I happen to live on the main line in Bryn Mawr. Mm -hmm. My office happens to be in Newtown Square. However, the truth is I sell in Philly. I sell in on the main line. I sell in uh, Chester County, Delaware County, and Montgomery County. I mean, have car, will travel. And for me, who's been doing this for, what, 31 years, mm. it makes it more, actually 32, I guess, um, it makes it more interesting rather than just showing the same houses over and over again. Well, once you become a referral agent, you actually can sell all over the world, really. <laughs> exactly. Really. So you're not limited. I hear people say all the time, do you know about North Philadelphia, do you know about Center City? Do you know about Montgomery County? You actually can sell anywhere. Uh, well, that's local. But really, when you're a referral agent, you can sell in Paris if you want to. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I just help somebody um, get their house listed with an agent in North Carolina that's moving here. Mm-hmm. I had sold their um, brother and sister-in-law a house and. Um, their mother was not happy with how things were being handled. Oh, right. So she put me on the job of finding them an agent. And, and you know me, I asked all the questions like you would. Right. Oh, well, you still make money. You just get referral money. You don't have to have a license in that particular state. For all you guys out there that want to become realtors, no, you don't have to have a license in every state in order to sell property. You just don't get as much commission It is something that's negotiated among the realtors. Correct. Yeah. You know, I remember a time uh, many years ago uh, when I was in an office uh, here in Center City, I had a manager say, I mean, you probably remember these times. Look, just get the deal done. I don't care if you write it on a handkerchief. (laughs) Just get it done. Get an agreement. Have them sign it on a handkerchief. And you remember those days where they used to scratch out everything and Oh. Right over top of the contract and all of that kind of stuff. Life is totally different now. Oh, yes, it is. Thank goodness for our cell phones, right? Yes, yes. Thank, thank goodness for technology. Exactly. What Outside of technology, what is one of the main difference that you've seen happen in the real estate field today compared to when you started in 1987? My cell phone. In 1987, you would have all these dimes and quarters and be going mm. to pay phones. Yeah. And now 
you know, we do literally everything on our cell phones. I make showing appointments on my cell phones. It's it's fabulous. So you can't top that. No. I and mean, they, it's they my even, most important tool is my phone. Yeah. But they even have those uh, walk-by. Uh, you ever, uh, I don't know what you're calling, drive-by and the house talks to you. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that was probably bigger about 10 years ago than yeah. it is now. I was going to ask you, are they still doing that? Um, I haven't seen that around. And then there was a period where they did QR codes, and so you would scan the code in front of the house on oh, the side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it would take you directly to that property, individual property website for the information. So, and what about YouTube? Oh, people love video. You know, as I say, you know, um, Google is like a 10-year-old boy, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. So they they will read, right? They love pictures, but they're just gaga about video, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And nowadays, you can, once you list a property, you can always refer your clients to YouTube to see it. Correct. Yeah. And, and actually, all of my listings are on YouTube. Isn't that interesting? Oh, great. Yeah. That's great. Where where can you find, give us the... So usually if they you know, mm-hmm. just have like a, the address or the address will in come area, up. it just okay. pops up. Okay. So it's not um, well, like that's... a special like TV channel for right. my listings. So. Well, you are quite an extraordinary realtor. I wanted to ask you, what do you think that makes you different from other realtors? Because everyone raves about you. What oh. do you do that's different so I think the biggest thing that I do that's different is that I'm somebody once coined me a networking goddess. Mm. And one of the things I do is I connect my clients and my friends with people, whether it's lenders, inspectors, you know, people to stage their home, people to organize their home, people to sell their antiques and furniture, or anything else. Like, I'm always connecting people. And... You know, sometimes it surprises me. I was selling a house, and unfortunately, there was a leak on, during the walkthrough. And so I called the listing agent to share the bad news with him. And I said, oh, just call your plumber. Well, he didn't have a plumber. I was like, you don't have a plumber? Mm. No. I was like, well, then call the seller's plumber, thinking they'd want to use their own people. Well, apparently, their seller did not have a plumber. So we ended up calling my plumber, who squoes us in between the job he was on before Mm -hmm. he went to his next job. And it's those relationships that set me apart. So I have a seller. I'm listing their house in Springfield, and he is uh, moving. It's like an amazing house for 400000 And his, it had been his family's house. And I hooked him up with someone to sell his stuff and also to help him get organized and stage his house. Plus, of course, I brought in a photographer. Oh, wow. So bing, bang, boom. And we're just at the first three introductions. Wow. wow. And, and you're going to get that property sold because you were, you know, so resourceful. Yeah, that's I great. I will. And, and of course, you know, getting a property sold, honestly, mm-hmm. 85% of it is getting it priced correctly. And my list price to sales price ratio is 98.27%. So um, as I always say, they should listen to me. So. Oh, yeah. But everybody don't. You get some sellers that uh, they're so emotionally tied to the house or... You know, they just, uh, they won't listen, and the the house winds up staying on the market, or the listing expires. And so I actually am probably atypical. I won't list their house. If I don't believe it's at a number that I can get it sold, um, I would be happy to introduce them to another realtor, but I'd be smarter to stay home and scrub my kitchen floor. Yeah, I think the most successful realtors are the ones that have resources, they know how to network. Um, I remember when I was more into doing my real estate, I could refer my clients to credit repair people, (laughs) to lenders that fit their particular type of deal, especially investors. Right. Especially so investors. I am totally with you. I probably work with a good dozen different lenders mm-hmm. because depending on the person and what kind of product is best for them, 
certain mortgage lenders do a better job at certain products. Like, for example, USAA is great for a VA product, and right. they probably do that better than anybody. And and locally, there are mortgage companies that do great on giving first-time home buyers free money. There are some lenders that don't have a clue and can't help guide the person to get the deserved free money and why not get it if it's free do you recommend any uh well when you do run into investors do you recommend any of them to like hard money lenders or so i do have in my like in my phone i Mm -hmm. have like i think two hard money lenders Mm -hmm. but i really that is not my unique ability the um investors i found um i took a great class where i learned all this um but I love the emotional part, the, the mm-hmm, people, mm-hmm. the connecting. The, that's more which makes me happy. So I tend to go in that direction. So. I heard that FHA had made uh, some changes, whereas in uh, just recently, I, I, this was last week, oh, wow. where yeah, where your credit score had to be a little stronger than usual. Did you hear about that? I have, and that's okay. a continual change mm-hmm, where mm-hmm. they keep upping the bar but then there are also some lenders for non for true owner occupant properties Mm -hmm. that will still even go below those thresholds Mm -hmm. but of course every time your credit score is lower that also means your rate goes up that's right that's right you know and and there's also like in philly there is something called like the keystone opportunity zone where if you buy a house and um you don't have to pay wage tax you don't pay property tax. Mm-hmm. I mean, it can save you tens and tens of thousands of dollars. It's a fabulous thing. You know, I found out about a loan, uh, and we, <laughs> we, we're going to talk about your networking events. But this is a, a subject that I love for my audience to learn about. But I heard about a loan where d- they dedicated this particular loan to doctors. Did you hear about that? Oh, I've had several doctor clients. So, you know, some companies say they have a doctor loan, and they really don't. So a true doctor loan in my book Mm -hmm. is when it's truly 100% financing, Mm. and you can have up to a 6% seller credit. Usually, one of the criteria is that you have to use that loan within 10 years of graduating from residency um, so it's not like you could have been a doctor 30, you know, became one 30 years ago. Right. So it's more geared for the newer ones. You have to open a um, an account with that bank. Mm-hmm. And, um, of course, they have higher credit scores. But they're also more forgiving on the student loans because doctors tend to have huge student loans. So they're very favorable. And these also come with no... PMI, which of wow. course is great. And those loans go up over a million dollars. Really? Mm-hmm. Because that PMI really drives that uh, that mortgage payment up. Huge. We can just do without the PMI. Exactly. And there's also another local bank right now that has one with, I think it's 3% down and no PMI, which is wow. huge. So, And you, that's, excuse me, but that that is like a premium mortgage. Um, and the rates, rate. by the way, are yeah. lower right. than the other rates. It's just like a special deal. But, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. Right, right. Well, that's a wonderful program. Well, I had a good time last night, everybody, because I was at the networking event of the Queen of Hats. And I tell you, I had a ball. The food was wonderful. Michelle, this is Tasty Talks. Tell no, us this all is about. Dine and Dish. That was Dine and Dish. That was it. Tomorrow I'm going to Tasty <laughs> Talks, everybody. <laughs> exactly. She has so many events, I can't even keep up with them. Oh, you okay. can. And so, everyone loved you. Oh, uh, did they? They did. Oh, well, that's wonderful. They did. All my people buzzing on the phone this morning saying oh. how much they loved you. My friend Kim, Kim? right from Nothing Bun Cakes, loved you. Oh, she She'll was She'll be so seeing sweet. you tomorrow. Oh, yes. really? Mm-hmm. Oh, so. And she's looking forward to oh, it. Oh, we're making friends. Uh, you've already made one with her. So. Oh, wow. Well, that's wonderful. Well, Tasty Talks is tomorrow. But last night, we was at Dine and Dish. 
at the Bercy out on the main line. And boy, did I have a good time. The food was wonderful. And the guests were wonderful. I, we took plenty of pictures. You can see them on Facebook. But Michelle, I want you to tell us about this particular networking event. So I'm actually going to flip this for a moment. I'm going to start with Tasty Talks because Tasty Talks I started in September of 2017 Mm -hmm. at Yang Ming, which is the Chinese restaurant we're going to Mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so Tasty Talks, um, you know, people at first were like, oh, you know, like, why are you doing (laughs) this? And I was like, because I'm doing it. Yeah. And so um, the speakers that I have are primarily people on TV now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've gone through different ebbs and flows. But over and above the speaker, I have what we call affectionately my VIP table. And so, for example, tomorrow we have um, two people from PHL 17 coming, Mm -hmm. someone from WXTU coming, you're Mm -hmm. coming, Mm -hmm. someone from 6ABC coming. So all these people are going to be networking with the people. And we are sold out tomorrow with 130 people. That's all the room will hold. And um, so the theme on that is is making a difference. And I will tell you, for every speaker I've had, you hear a different story, which I love. Mm. And so it really has grown, uh, which, you know, I love. So in the meantime, I also sort of, for fun, write restaurant reviews. So Mm -hmm. I love to eat out. Mm -hmm. And so everybody has started asking me, like, oh, we want you to do more. We want you to do one here. Well, about a year ago, I think it was in May of last year, I had, it was a brand new restaurant, the Bercy in Ardmore, where we were last right. night. Mm-hmm. They opened. They put, and I'm not exaggerating, two and a half million dollars into renovating that restaurant. The chef mm. is world renowned and so award winning. Um, his name is Joe Monick. And their food, wasn't it scrumptious? The, the food was wonderful, and so was the service. Oh, they came over. They asked you, was everything okay? They, I had uh, one server, went back like two or three times. Now, look, I wanted, uh, I don't drink, so I had to have a ginger ale with grenadine. And oh, that I tastes love good. grenadine. That's my favorite. That's Isn't so that funny. delicious? Mm-hmm. So that was, that's what I wanted. And they were so kind. No problem. They come over, they gave me my food, and then they said, oh, I'll get the drink for you. So I thought that was wonderful. No fuss, no muss, no frowny face. You know, I just thought it was beautiful. No, they're lovely people. Yeah. But that event, as you'll see tomorrow, is much smaller because of the room. Mm -hmm. And so that room really only can hold 45 people. Mm -hmm. And you were at our third event. And so, yes, there are people who have already become regulars. One woman I'd never met, she saw an ad in the paper. Mm -hmm. She's now on her second time. Mm -hmm. So I love the fact that some people come back, but then we also mix up with some fresh faces to make the energy good. And then, as you know, I love pictures. So Oh, yeah. All about the photos. Yeah, and I love your hats. You have to see this hat. Well, we're going to post this, so you will see it. But for the present, you have to see this hat that Michelle has on. I'm telling you, she's spring all over. Beautiful, beautiful. We have flowers. We have pink. We have purple. We have yellow. Very gorgeous. This is a glamorous lady. And, you know, I when I introduced you last week, I meant every word I said because I remember as a child um, – Glamour was was somewhat in, but it was sort of like going out. You remember when the ladies used to wear the gloves? Oh, and I still wear my gloves. You wear your gloves? Oh my goodness! And they used to wear hats to church and all of that. And I was just speaking to someone the other day, and they said, "We don't know what happened to people." being glamorous what happened to the sunday fun and getting dressed up and and looking marvelous and nowadays they look like they're going to the nightclub (laughs) that's funny (laughs) they look like they're going to the nightclub but at any rate i love it that you're bringing the glamour back for us women I really appreciate that. Well, now that. you'll have to get your hat for the Devon Horse Show coming up oh, at really? the end of May. Yes, that's oh, a don't. big hat event. Oh, yeah, that's the oh, Derby. Yeah. The um, 
Well, it's Devin, not a derby, but yeah, the yeah, Devon ladies. The Devon day. ladies, yeah, and you'll yeah, yeah. hopefully be able to come that day, or if not, we'll find another. I'm already day. trying to pick out one, so I, okay, I will so definitely, I'll definitely will be so, there. But you know what? First of all, I wear a hat 365 days of the year, mm. and so for me, it's just like every. It's a part day. of your your outfit. You know, exactly. That's what you do. Yeah, right. That's just my thing. So um, I, I feel naked if I don't have my hat on. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that well, funny? That's, that's your thing. That's your brand. And that's wonderful. Tell us about Dine, because Tasty Talks came first. So now tell us about Dine and Dish. So as I said, so Dine and Dish people, and mm-hmm. they continually keep mm-hmm. asking me, like, a, you know, and I have to keep reminding people, mm-hmm. I'm a realtor. I sell real estate, everyone. But everybody, I think, would they like They forget me. that. They forget about you being a realtor. <laughs> they do. They yeah. do. So some of my friends, it started as a joke, but they all now call me, instead of like doctor, they'll say realtor Michelle <laughs> Leonard. So I am now f- officially <laughs> realtor Michelle Leonard because I'm like, they don't think, like one lady took me out for lunch because I think she thought I was in PR. Another person thought I owned a <laughs> restaurant. I'm like, no, uh, don't own the restaurant. Well, I call you social light. Oh, well, that's right. I did come out, so that's not uh, so far from the truth. Well, now, tell us very quickly about Curation. Is it Connection Curated? It's Connections Curated, and mm-hmm. that is a work in progress. So mm-hmm. you're all really hearing it before the um, official launch. I'm still working out details. But that's going to be where I'm meeting with people sort of like you and I are. Mm-hmm. It'll probably involve some video where people will get to know people, whether they are the, – I have this big love of restaurant owners and all that. So the restaurant owners, the chefs, the maitre d's, but also my professional networking partners. Plus I have a huge um, group of friends that are not – including you that mm-hmm. are in the media. And so I want to highlight – really getting to know these people and what's important to them. So Now, I, is this open to the public? It, it will be, yes. It will, it's it, right now, it's only by invitation. N- no, no. Yeah. In other words, anybody ultimately will be able to see it okay. on the public. Mm-hmm. Who I talk about, of course, right. is my decision. But Tell the audience how they can find out about your events. I have a simple answer for that. If you go to my Instagram account, which anyone can follow me, it's at the hat lady five oh seven. So let me repeat that. At the T H E hat H A T Lady L A D Y five oh seven and that's on Instagram. Michelle, thank you so much for coming and being in the station. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I really love this. Thank you. Thank you. And you know my motto, live the life you deserve. Thanks for listening to the Yvonne Candy Show. Want to know more? Check out YvonneCandy.com.